Hello science enthusiasts, I'm Teacher Algen. For today's video, I'll be teaching all the most important concepts of Unit 1, Module 1 of Science 10, which is plate tectonics. Before we start, let's first understand what is plate tectonics. When we say plate tectonic, it is a theory. It is a theory that the Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. In order for you to understand what is plate tectonic, let's define it one by one. When we say plate, we are referring to lithospheric plates. But where can we find the lithospheric plates? We can find between the crust and the upper part of the mantle. How about the word tectonics? When we say tectonics, it means movement. Movement of what? When we combine the two, it is the movement of the lithospheric plates. I repeat, when we say plate tectonic, it is the movement of lithospheric plates. Now, let's go to the types of plate boundaries. There are three types of plate boundaries. We have the convergent plate boundary when two plates move towards each other. Second, we have divergent plate boundary, when two plates move away from each other. And lastly, we have the transform fault boundary, where two plates is sliding past each other. When we say boundary, it is a dividing line. As you can see on the picture, it is a dividing line to separate the plates. And the arrow, represents the interaction of the plates. If it is convergent, a divergent, or a transform interaction of the plates. The interaction of the plates has a result on our crust. Because as we all know, that the lithosphere is found between the crust and the upper part of the mantle. So if there is a movement in our lithosphere, there is a corresponding effect on our crust either be on our oceanic or our continental crust. So let's study the different geological activities happens on the types of plate boundaries. Let's start with the convergent plate boundary. There are three processes that happening in the converging plates. We have the converging plates of oceanic and continental crust. We have the converging plates of oceanic versus oceanic crust. And lastly, we have the converging plates of two continental crusts. In the converging of oceanic crust to a continental crust, the lithosphere of the oceanic crust will be the one to subduct. Because oceanic crust is much denser than the continental crust. You know why? Because basaltic rocks which is found in the ocean plates are much denser and heavier to granitic rock found in the continental plates. If this happens, it results to a geological activities. Which separate into two. Geological events and geological features. If the oceanic plates converge to a continental plates, the geological events are earthquake, potential tsunami, and a potential volcanic eruption. Why volcanic eruption? Because volcanic eruption happens because of the lithosphere which is subducted will bend towards the mantle. Since the mantle is hotter, the subducted lithosphere melt forming magma. Addition of volatile materials such as water will cause the magma to become less dense, allowing it to rise and reach the crust, causing volcanic eruption. And the geological feature that may form are, we have trench, which is developed because of the subduction, and volcanic arc. 
converging of two oceanic plates, it almost the same with the converging of oceanic and continental plates. They have the same geological event, but for the geological feature, it has a trench, yes, because there is a subduction. But instead of a volcanic arc, it will be formed a volcanic island arc that will develop because of the volcanic eruption. Maybe there's a question in your mind. Why there is a subduction? Wherein there are both oceanic plates. The reason behind it's because on the area of the two oceanic plates. Even though they have the same basaltic crop, but it's on the amount of the basalt content. In convergence of two continental plates, there are no subduction. Because there are no subduction, there is no volcanic activity. And there are no formation of volcanic arc. The geological event of this process is earthquake only. No possible tsunami, no possible eruption. The only geological feature on this process is mountain formation. Let's go now to the divergent plate boundary. There are two processes that are happening. The diverging of two oceanic plates and the diverging of two continental plates. In the diverging of two oceanic plates, when they separate, it will result to a formation of ocean ridge or what we call the mid-ocean ridge. This is a geological feature of this process. While the geological event are earthquake and volcanic activity, or what we call the undersea volcanic eruption. In the diverging of two continental plates, when they separate, it will form a reef valley. This is the geological feature that may develop on this process while the geological event is earthquake. Earthquake occurs as a result of this fracture and movement. This will produce a narrow shallow sea within the reef. This reef can, can be grow deeper and wider as you can see on the picture. The third type of plate boundary is the transform fault boundary where plates slide past one another without the production or destruction of crust because rocks are cut in display by movement in opposite direction. Rocks facing each other on two sides of the fold are typically of different type and age. These structures are so-called strike slip folds. These are the examples. The geological event of this process is only earthquake. Okay, so let's sum up all the things that you learned from this video. When we say plate tectonics, it is a theory that the Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. When we say plate, it refers to the lithospheric plates. And when we say tectonic, it refers to a movement. So when we combine the two, it refers to the movement of the lithospheric plates. There are also the types of plate boundary. We have the convergent, the divergent, and transform. In terms of the movement of convergent boundary, the two plates move towards each other, while the geological events are earthquake, tsunami, and volcanic eruptions, while the geological features are trench, volcanic arc, volcanic island arc, and mountain ranges. In divergent boundary, in terms of movement, the two plates moves away from each other, while the geological events are earthquake and undersea volcanic eruption, while the geological features are mid-ocean ridge and reef valley. While in transform fault boundary, in terms of movement, the two plates is sliding past each other and the geological events is earthquake. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.